Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. My apologies for the long absence and the hiatus from our daily learning together. Be'ez Hashem, we are back on track starting today. And we will continue with our five minutes of halacha and the laws of daily living as brought down in the Kitzur Shulchan Aruch. And today is the last halacha in the chapter that we've been working on for the last week or so, which is regarding a person who sits down for an eating session, for a meal, for a snack, and whether he's in his own house or he's in somebody else's house as a visitor, as a guest, and they bring more food onto the table than was initially there at the time that he made his original bracha, and we discussed all of the different details, whether or not he can be considered to have all the food in mind, does he have to have a specific intent for the new food that's coming to the table, will he be required in a new bracha or not, all of that you'll have to review as we spoke about last week. The final halach is the following. Misha baldis uda, a person comes to a meal, v'nasnu lo kais, and they give him a cup of wine. Okay, that's uh, often what people end up doing by a meal. They bring they bring a cup of wine. Now, just that you should know, the Mishnah Brewer says that this person who bal the sudu is coming to the meal. It's referring to someone who is a casual visitor. A casual visits the house rather than a guest that was invited specifically for this meal, as we'll see what the difference is going to be. They gave him a cup of wine. And he's a good Jew, so he makes a blessing on the wine before he drinks it. And after he finishes that glass of wine, they come and they give him more cups of wine. Now the question is that this casual visitor who just walked in said, Shalom Aleichem, how are you? Came in to say hello, and he sits down and they give him a cup of wine. What was his intention when he made the brach on that initial cup of wine? Did he have in mind that they're going to bring him more? Is that the minag, is that the custom in this house, that they always bring more glasses of wine to their guests? So, im haminag who came. If the custom is to do this, which means that the host of that house normally gives multiple cups of wine to a casual visitor who comes in. So then, Mistamai said, Dain to Al-Kulam, then we could assume that the original intent of this visitor when he came in there was that he wanted to drink any cup of wine that's going to come his way. And he will not have to make another bracha, another blessing on any of the subsequent subsequent cups of wine that are placed onto the table. Nevertheless, the Mishnah Bura writes, even though that this is true, it could be that's the minag, that's the custom in the house, and it would seem that it has to be that the visitor who's coming in seems to have to know that that's also the way in which this house works, but it's always preferable that this casual visitor that's just coming in should have specific intent at the time that he's making his original bracha that he wants the blessing to cover whatever it is that he will be served. And therefore, when he makes a bracha, he has not in mind only the cup that's in front of him, but if they're going to serve him any more cups, it should have that in mind as well. Now, he brings down over here the following, that if you're in a place where there is no custom to offer a number of cups of wine to a visitor. I mean, that's not what they do. It's not a drinking place. Some cities, some towns, some houses are known more for their drinking. This is not a, a house that's really known so much for people having a lot of cups of wine. So then the visitor would have to recite a bracha on each and every cup that they served him because when he sat down to drink the original cup, he had to have in mind that that's the only cup they're going to serve him. Aye, they bring him more. So it's changing his mind now to drink another cup and he'd be obligated to make a new bracha. However, just to point out, that if a person's an invited guest, which means it wasn't just a casual visit, he's invited to come to the house for a meal, so then it's not dependent on this custom, which means that when he sits down in that house, he was invited, he assumes that I'm making brachas now and, what, and I am at the 
uh, at the disposal, so to speak, of whatever it is that my host is going to bring to the table. Therefore, it's considered that at the original brach, he had everything in mind. And if he made a blessing on one cup of wine, it covers all of the other cups of wine as well. Wishing everybody a wonderful day.